alleged match fixing in a whole host of countries around the globe. It's a global problem. It's affecting international matches, friendly international matches, through to local league matches, um, through uh, to women's uh, football as, as well. So everyone is a target here. It's being driven by professional criminals exploiting the betting markets, whether they're the legal betting markets or the illegal betting markets. I think there's a lot more being done now than there was 10 years ago, so that's very heartening. Um, but we can't afford to stop and we need to maintain the momentum uh, to ensure that we make match fixers' lives very difficult. Absolutely, it's not something that a, a single association or country can deal with on its own. It's a global issue. The crime is often or usually perpetrated in a, in a place different to um, where the, the actual action is taking place. And so one country can't deal with it. It does require a global initiative and it's not just something that football can deal with because football associations uh, like the Hong Kong FA, we don't have a remit to carry out um, law legal investigations. We have, a, we have a responsibility to report them and then provide the information and to participate in any inquiry. Well, criminals are creative individuals. You know, they have a fertile imagination. But um, um, we are here to deter them and to prevent and also to give hope, to save the dream for future generations that sport can be safe, secure and clean.